seven amazing but weak summer fragrances. That's something that we get a lot, you know, the summer fragrances, not all of them are going to hold up well in terms of performance. They're mainly composed of citruses and some top notes that wear off a lot quicker than notes like tobacco and leather and these other heavier notes that winter fragrances normally use. Of course, there are a ton of really, really good performing summer fragrances out there and I've already done a video on that. You can go search my channel and find that video if you want to hear about some really strong performing summer fragrances. However, today we're gonna be going over seven weak summer fragrances but they're still fragrances that are really good smelling. So it's one of those things where I don't want you to just write these off just because they don't perform that good. They still are great scents that are worth some attention and some love. You just gotta realize that you will have to reapply these or you know you can just wear them around the house when you don't need that good a performance. You can just wear these for personal enjoyment. I know a lot of fragrances get written off immediately because the performance is bad, but let's go and give these seven fragrances a chance. They're honestly pretty good and you may be surprised on how much you like them. And I will link all these fragrances down below as well, all to discount prices. They're gonna be some of the pre best prices you can get these at. So make sure you check out those links. Let's go and jump right into this one. First fragrance up, we have John Varvatos Star USA. So it's a weird bottle. Um, you do that and this thing kind of is in your way and then you kind of got to come around like this and then switch this and then you can spray it. And then you just bring this down and do that and then your cap is in place. It's a very weird cap mechanism. Um, this one's even more fun to play with than CH Men Privé. It's a John Varvatos fragrance and unfortunately it doesn't perform that good. All right, it's, you know, it is what it is. John Varvatos is kind of known for that, so no surprise to see this one here. Um, but out of all of the John Varvatos fragrances that I own, this one's probably gonna be the worst performer. So that kind of puts into perspective on, you know, how not great this one is in terms of performance. In terms of smell, it smells really, really nice. It's a citrus fragrance with surprisingly good quality for the price, and it's just gonna be a very wearable one for the summertime. Only downside to the scent is the performance. Again, it's affordable, so that's not a big deal. You can pick this one up, give it a few sprays and enjoy it yourself, or you can pick it up, use it for a room spray or whatever you wanna do with it. Moving along, we have Antonio Banderas Blue Seduction. This is a fragrance that's been talked about a little bit here and there. I've had this fragrance requested quite a bit on the channel, so I've you know picked it up here within the past few months or whatever. It smells really nice, kind of a Versace au fresh smelling thing with musk and citrus and all that stuff. Um, downside to this one, of course, doesn't perform that good, um, prefer, performs worse than the Versace. So something like this, you'll wanna grab the big bottle of it and just spray it on heavily if you do want to wear it. Nothing wrong with that, you know, very cheap in this big bottle size. Another thing you can do with this one if you wanted to is use it as a room spray. Use it as an air freshener, use it in your car to spray your car. You can do that type of stuff with these cheap fragrances that don't perform that good. The nice thing about these is when you spray them in your room or whatever, it won't linger in there all day and start to annoy you. You know, you can just use it to freshen up for a little while and then it just kind of goes away and you can use it to freshen up again, you know, spray your towels. You can do a whole bunch of stuff with these cheaper fragrances that don't perform that good. That's one use that you can get out of this one here. Spray your beach towels and you have fun smelling summery beach towels and it won't last all day. So that's pretty cool kind of creative ways you can do with scents like this. Or you can just wear the fragrance on your skin and reapply it. It is a nice fragrance to wear. The quality isn't as bad as you would think, although I can admit I have smelled better. Um, the opening is gonna be pretty strong and heavy on the alcohol smell. So once you get past that, you get into a pretty good smelling fragrance. The only thing holding it back is gonna be that performance. Moving along, we have Lacoste Au Fresh beautiful green white gradient bottle it looks pretty cool my brightness is up a little bit too high but you can see it's a green to white gradient it smells really nice as well it's got limoncello amongst some other citrus get a bit of a muskiness the only downside to this one of course is going to be the performance that's going to be the limiting factor here and it's a shame because it does smell really nice a lot of these fresh lacoste fragrances you know just lacoste white and these other ones like this one they don't perform the best, but they do smell really good. And again, quality is surprisingly decent on these. I mean, I think you can get this for about $30, 30-ish, somewhere around in there on discounters with the uh, 
fragrance net 35% off code, which I will link down below. You can get this fragrance for a pretty good price. So it's worth checking out. Just do realize, go a bit heavier on the sprays with this one than you normally would. And you'll have a pretty good fragrance that you can wear in the summertime. Up next, we have Low De Say Pour Ohm Shade of Lagoon. I actually did do a review on this one, I believe, uh, when it became available on discounters a while back. Um, of course, one of their fresh summer fragrances, utilizing Ambroxan. So they kind of hopped on the Ambroxan train with this one, and I can admit it smells pretty nice, right? Something like this, just knock the cap off of it, um, something like this does smell good no matter which way you cut it in terms of mass appeal and getting compliments and just having nice you know good smelling fragrances that a lot of people are going to like this type of thing will do that downside is it just doesn't perform that good i don't know why because typically these ambroxan based fragrances do perform really good but this one doesn't um, even using this one as a room spray to freshen up it doesn't last very long in there as well so you know it's definitely going to be on the weaker side of things if you're applying it on skin be prepared to reapply or to spray it on kind of heavily to begin with. Spray your clothes as well. That kind of helps make it last. Um, you know, it's still kind of worth checking out because it does smell a little bit different than those other blue fragrances out there. Just do realize it's not going to have near the strength and projection and longevity of your typical blue fragrances. Almost done with this one already, guys. Second to last fragrance, we have Atkinson's Mint and tonic so this one smells exactly like the name of it mint and tonic that's what you get here and it does smell really really nice it's a great great quality scent it's not synthetic or harsh or sharp or alcoholy smelling in any situation it's just very minty bright vibrant and fresh the only downside of course is going to be that this fragrance doesn't last and this one kind of annoys me because this was like a little bit over a hundred dollars for this stuff it is a niche fragrance and I mean come on a hundred dollars for something with this bad of performance that's not good and it's like pretty bad like worse than a lot of creeds out there you know creeds get um, hated on for their price range and you know not having good performance it's you know worse than that it's worse than some of these other fragrances in this list as well it just does not last doesn't really project I mean it's there and gone pretty quickly so this is one where I really just spray it in the air every now and then and kind of smell it and enjoy it because it does smell good but I don't even usually bother with wearing it all that much that being said it is an amazing smelling summer fragrance just that performance is holding it back if you can deal with that and you have the money to spend for this guy you can give it a shot and try it out but I would say for most of you you know for the price of this one I would just skip it because, you know, like these other ones are pretty cheap. You can apply them over and over again and not have to worry about it. This one's not cheap. This one's on the more expensive side and the performance is laughable. Here we have Nautica Blue. This is a really nice, fruity, fresh, musky, clean scent from Nautica, of course. They do these fragrances really well. These just clean, fresh, kind of aquatic, musky scents. Right, that's what they're known for, that's what they do, that's kind of their bread and butter. And they have a lot of successful scents in this genre. It's a great smelling scent with that fruitiness that's in here. It gives it something a bit different than what you normally expect from these Nautica fragrances. The only downside is, is that performance. It's just kind of there and gone on your skin really quickly. It fades off super quickly. So this is one where you are best to just spray it on super, super heavily, like just bathe yourself in this stuff, spray it on your shirt and everything, and just enjoy it while it lasts because it is a really, really nice smelling scent. It just doesn't perform. And last up, we have another Nautica fragrance. We have two of them back to back because I forgot to record this part earlier on in the beginning, beginning of the video. I had this one kind of at the start of the video, but somehow I think I skipped it. So Nautica Voyage Sport. Yeah, it, it smells really good. Is it as good as the original Voyage or any of the other flankers? No, it's not, but it does smell nice. Very clean, fresh, sporty, musky scent, right? Hence the name. Downside is, is it's just not a performer, right? The original Voyage performs better. Um, Heritage performs better. Those are a couple of my favorites from this Voyage line. This guy though, this one just doesn't want to perform. It's off your skin pretty quickly and it just fades away. It's a shame because it's a nice smelling scent. It's a great way to kind of break it up if you're tired of the other Voyage flankers. You just gotta really apply this one heavily if you want it to perform because it just won't do it. So guys, that was gonna do it for me. That was seven amazing but weak summer fragrances. Again, 
don't get this the wrong way. These aren't bad fragrances. The reason for me doing this video is to show you that, hey, these are actually good smelling fragrances. They just don't perform that good. It's still worth giving it a shot. You know, the most for the most part, these are all um, affordable except for one. So, you know, all the cheap ones are worth getting in my opinion. If you can handle the poor performance, just reapply them, carry the bottle with you. Or if you're just going somewhere for an hour or two, you could spray these on heavily because they're a cheap fragrance and then you're out for an hour or two running your errands and then you're back home. You could put on something better to do the rest of the day or whatever. These weaker fragrances do have their uses as well. And here's seven really good ones for summer that I think are worth checking out. So thank you for watching. All these will be linked down below. If you want to pick any of them up, hit those links down below. It's going to take you to the best prices available. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow night with another one. Take care.